Well, I'd say this thing has had a, um, the ride of its life. Um, it's a Danfoss or C-Cup now, that's uh, what the company's name named as, I think. Oh, it's a BD35F compressor, 12 to 24 volt DC. Um, and it wasn't cheap, and it came all the way from uh, Roklaw in Poland, from the seller Wigmors. Well, that's seal layers damage. So, oh, I've leaked out the nitrogen because they're usually pressurised with nitrogen to seal them. So there we go, it is tiny. Very small. Well, there's no oil leaking out it, I don't think, so it's not too bad. So I would say it's about the size of a cantaloupe melon. Now it says only with BD controller, but um, I've got my own controller that I'll use. I wasn't paying 90 quid for a controller, um, an electric bike controller or a brushless ESC out of a model plane or car or something like that would run it no problem. I can see it's 12 to 24 volts. I'm not sure how they thermally protect it, that must be an external thing. But I've got this so I can make a refrigeration system that runs direct off my solar all the time. So it is intended for R134A, but I'll be using butane propane mix. Um, there's a certain percentage you mix, um, and then you get similar results to R134A, and that is compatible with polyolester. Uh, hydrocarbon refrigerants do work with it, so I won't need to change the oil. So I will not be turning this on until it's actually been assembled into a system. The main reason being I just don't want to get any contaminants in, or at least as little as possible. Um, I also will not be brazing the fittings because unfortunately I cannot find brazing rods for refrigeration anywhere on eBay. If I do find them, they either have to be imported from uh, America or they are extremely expensive, like over a hundred pounds for a for a pack.